Hey there guys, Mark Gray here. I'm a professional landscape photographer from Australia. I'm coming to you today from the Mark Gray Gallery at 65 Main Street in Mornington, Victoria. And I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far. It's been fantastic to see how many people are enjoying the content that I'm sharing. If you are enjoying it, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button below and also the bell icon to make sure that you're notified whenever I do release a new video. So today what I'm gonna do is take a walk through the gallery and give you guys some insights into the pieces that I currently have on display in here. So sit back, enjoy the show, and I hope you learn something new. So let's start at this end of the gallery. This print on the left is quite an old capture of mine it was an incredible sunrise. Those colors are 100% genuine. No colored filters and no colors added after I took the shot. It's actually a film capture. And you'd be interested to know that this jetty has actually been ripped out shortly after I captured this photo, replaced with a concrete structure instead, which is just nowhere near as photogenic. Now we move around to one of my more recent print releases photo of a salt mine while I was hanging out of a Cessna plane shooting at around 1500 feet. As the sun was setting it was reflecting beautifully off the pools and the colours of the salt combined with the light created just a stunning palette of colours. A recent installation over here, just yesterday it was installed, is one of my most popular prints. Brief dreaming. This was my very first aerial shoot from a helicopter. I actually had quite a fear of heights before doing this and now I've adjusted quite well to flying uh, helicopters and also aeroplanes. This photo has been my most highly awarded photo to date. It seems to be a theme at the moment that we have a lot of aerial shots up the front of the gallery. So this one here it's another aerial shot in the Shark Bay region and this is actually a little uh, estuary system just with some beautiful colours and you can just see all the texture coming through. It's just absolutely stunning. Beautiful area to visit and best seen from the sky without a doubt. As we come around here we have our gift stand with all our jigsaw puzzles, our matted prints. Another one of my best-selling prints is Beneath. And this was actually captured on a freezing cold winter's morning down at Dramana Pier. Very wide angle lens. It was actually captured at 11 millimeters. A lot of people comment with the, the smoothing of the wave here. They think that I've actually doctored the image to create that effect. But it's actually done in using just a slow shutter speed in the camera. So only a couple of copies left of that print actually before it sells out. And that was an addition of 50. Over here we actually have a vertical panorama. Challenging to compose vertical panoramas but some locations just lend themselves beautifully to them. This is one of my personal favorite prints in the gallery at the moment. Possibly because of the challenge it took to actually capture the photo. I had to abseil off a big boulder behind me, get into that lo location and capture the, uh, the narrow crevice before I slid down that waterfall and off a six metre ledge into the pool below. It was quite an amazing experience to be honest. Along here we have our first fra frame print actually. All the other ones have been frameless acrylics. And this is a beautiful scene from the Victorian high country of snow gums, one of my favourite trees. They're just so colourful and so resilient against the horrible conditions in the high country. Then we move along, we have French Polynesia, the atoll of Rangaroa, another high country scene with uh, snow gums and Wallace's hut. Princess Pier pylons and then a print here from the closest location to the gallery which is just down the end of Main Street 
in the Mornington Harbour. Incredible sunset that night. Another popular print that I captured on film, Sydney Splendour. Interesting fact about this photo, I actually captured it through the window of a hotel, would you believe? It's the first time and the only time I've ever attempted it and somehow I managed to get away with it. You can see the long exposures captured the trails of the Manly Ferry as they pull out and head off to Manly. As we come around the corner, we have an astrophotography photo of the Milky Way over the Twelve Apostles, captured around 11 o'clock at night on a new moon, no moon in the sky, and the camera actually sees better than our own eyes. That's a digital shot, that one. And then over here, another aerial shot of incredible sand dunes at Shark Bay. This was taken from a Cessna as I hung out the window, again as the sun was setting at the end of the day, casting that beautiful light and shade across the dunes. Over here, stunning Mossman Gorge, another film capture. And I went to Mossman Gorge a number of times over three years trying to get a beautiful shot that really uh, communicated just how serene the place is. The first time I went, there was actually uh, rapids. There was so much rain that it was white water all the way through here. And the next time I went, the water level was so low it had become stagnant. It was actually brown water. Thankfully, finally, when I returned again, the conditions were just perfect and I captured this shot, sacred waterhole. Here's another popular print coming up to close to 50 copies of this one sold. This is Harmony, captured at Lake Wanaka, the most famous tree in the Southern Hemisphere. And you can see the cormorants in the tree there. I did not plan to capture them, that was a bonus. But this is another shot that took me many years to capture. I needed autumn colours on the poplars. I needed no wind on the water and just at least some colour in the sky. It took a long time to get everything to come together. Over here we have a brand new installation. This was installed yesterday as well. Rainforest Symphony. And this is one print that I actually have in my own home. So it's very special to me. We have the 12 apostles here. Tidal Guardians, another one of my favorite pieces, captured at Cape Tribulation in Queensland. On a low tide, you can see the beautiful mud flats reflecting the sunrise. Difficult shot that one because it was actually raining for a long time prior to capturing that and we had to sit on the beach under a tree and wait for the rain to ease. But we could see there was going to be some light coming so we made the effort to wait it out and see how we went. Thankfully, it paid off. As we come over here, we find another frame piece titled Endless and captured under Seaford Pier. When I captured this photo, I was waist deep in the water and there was a school of dolphins just out to the right here playing. Such a beautiful night. The frame that we have on it is our most popular frame at the moment. It's the white concrete frame, or that's what we call it, and it's by Bellini Fine Moulding. It's actually handcrafted in Italy. I'm sure you'll agree it works absolutely beautifully on this particular piece. Over here we have another waterfall shot, a vertical panorama, Forest Whisper. This was captured at Hopeton Falls, down the Otways on the Great Ocean Road. Then as we head over here, Another very recent capture, this print's titled Wonderland from the incredible Lufoden Islands in Norway. 
I get back there every winter to run a tour, photography tour, doing the northern lights and also uh, the sunrise and sunset each day. It's just incredible. Then we have another vertical capture here, Ascend. This one's called, captured at Kangaroo Island. You can see this was actually an accident, to be honest with you, capturing the bird just as it was taking off. But it adds something really nice to that print. As we come around here, another piece that was installed just yesterday, one of my most popular recent releases is Duet. Captured at Yokel Island on the south coast of Iceland. Yes, they are icebergs on the beach. You don't see that very often, do you? That was a very difficult shot to capture just to get the right timing on the wave using a slow shutter speed to create that misty effect. Over here we have one of my most popular prints of Melbourne. Beautiful city that I've grown up in and still live in Victoria down the peninsula. 100% genuine reflections. I've never faked any reflections in any of my photos. I don't believe in doing that sort of thing. I appreciate that people do have different views on that, but personally, I like to keep things as real as I can in my photos. Along here, back in Norway now, and we're looking at the beautiful Northern Lights. Middle of the night on a full moon, I captured this as the sky opened up with incredible color. Over here we have Wanda, another film capture. When I captured this, it was the middle of winter, but it was such a beautiful, calm evening. Again, there was dolphins playing out the end of the jetty. And there was actually quite a lot of people out and about, and they all wanted to get onto the jetty to see the dolphins. So I had to ask them really nicely if they could just wait a couple of minutes for me to capture this photo. Thankfully, they were polite enough to oblige, and I captured this shot. We've now sold around 50 copies of this, so I'm very glad that I was able to get that appreciation and respect while I was on the pier. This features another frame from Bellini Fine Moulding. Beautiful handcrafted frame made in Italy and imported into Australia. And we might finish on this one here. This is another classic film capture of mine. Heaven's Gate. Again, a very difficult shot to capture. I had board shots on. The waves were actually coming up and rolling up to knee height or just above. And getting that shutter speed just right on film when you've only got four shots on each roll proved a real challenge. But it certainly paid off. So that brings us to the end of the walk through the gallery. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. It's a real privilege for me to be able to share the moments that I witness with the world through my work. And I'd just like to thank everyone that has invested in my work over the years. We've been running galleries now for coming up to nine years. It's an absolute privilege to be able to do what I love uh, for a living. And I never take that for granted. Thank you for watching again. Please be sure to hit the subscribe. Uh, if you haven't done so already and don't forget to like and comment as well guys and i'll see you on the next video